all women are descended from mitochondrial Eve, and all men are descended from Y chromosome Adam. But these two people lived hundreds of thousands of years apart and never met. Hi everyone, astrobiologist here to talk about humanity's great, 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 great <laughs> grandparent. So much like the concept that all life on Earth come from a single last universal common ancestor, or Luca, humans have kind of the same deal, where our maternal and paternal sides can both be traced back to one individual on each side. Our maternal lineage is carried through mitochondrial DNA. And you might be asking yourself, why does mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, have its own DNA? And the answer is really weird because it turns out that mitochondria evolved separately from single-celled organisms. Then when they were eaten by those single-celled organisms, instead of being digested, they were just kept around because they made energy and that was useful. Evolution is pretty weird like that. Anyways, mitochondrial DNA is passed down through ova. So everybody has their mother's mitochondrial DNA. On the other hand, Men and some intersex folks have a Y chromosome, which is passed down through sperm. Now, the strange part is that humanity's great-grandfather and its great-grandmother did not coexist in the same time or location. While anthropologists pretty well agree that humanity did evolve in the Horn of Africa, our Y chromosomal atom is from Nigeria around two to 300,000 years ago while mitochondrial Eve is from around Mozambique about 150,000 years ago. These aren't like the biblical Adam and Eve, by the way. At this point in time, there were tens of thousands of humans on Earth. They're just really the lucky ones, the ones whose genes have happened to propagate through 10 to 20,000 generations of humans, eventually producing you and me and Carl Sagan, and every other human being that's ever lived on this planet. In case you're wondering, no one has both this maternal mitochondrial DNA and a Y chromosome. Although there are intersex folks that have both a Y chromosome and a female reproductive system, this is called Swire syndrome, none of them have the capability to produce ova. So no one on the planet really has both of these things going on at the same time. Anyways, Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments and I'll see you next time.